an actor, a director, and a figure in the Italian neorealism movement defined Vittorio De Sica. Neorealism focused on stories that were set amongst the poor and working classes. It was through his own poverty-stricken upbringing that Vittorio was able to direct such films with intense realism that stabs at the heart. Vittorio De Sica was raised in Naples, but was born near Rome in Soda Lazio, Italy, on July 7, 1901. While Vittorio worked as an office clerk to help provide for his impoverished family, his father, Umberto De Sica, was a bank clerk. However, it was his father's previous job that would lead the way for Vittorio's film success. Umberto De Sica was a former journalist who knew people in show business that were able to grant his son a future in the film industry. Vittorio studied accounting in Rome and finished his service in the military. While still in his teens, Vittorio began acting for a stage company doing mostly comedy. He eventually went on to appear in films, some of which earned him nominations and awards. However, directing was his true passion. After the war, he met writer Cesare Zavattini, who would collaborate with De Sica and together shape the post-war Italian neorealist movement. They focused on films that showed the compassion of the working class, such as 1941's Dr. Beware, 1944's The Children Are Watching Us, 1946's Shoe Shine, 1948's The Bicycle Thief, 1951's Miracle in Milan and 1952's Umberto D, which is dedicated to Vittorio's father. De Sica believed these films may have been presented too soon after the war, saying, Many pictures of mine this way. Now is a great success. Then, nothing. Too early too early. While they were not audience appreciated then, two of the De Sica Zavattini projects won an Academy Award for Best Foreign Film, Shoeshine and Bicycle Thieves. While creating award-winning films, Vittorio De Sica was still acting to help finance his films, as well as his gambling addiction. She's very strange, very moody. De Sica was even nominated for an Oscar in 1958 for his supporting role in Ernest Hemingway's A Farewell to Arms. While Shoe Shine and Bicycle Thieves demonstrated the neorealism of post-war Italy, they were not the only De Sica films to win Academy Awards. De Sica's film Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow, starring the iconic Sofia Loren, also won Best Foreign Film in 1963. Miss Loren would go on to win an Oscar in 1965 for one of the eight De Sica films she appeared in, titled Two Women. In 1970, the film about a noble family during the 1930s Jewish persecution, The Garden of the Finzi Continis, won Vittorio De Sica his final Oscar. Vittorio De Sica died November 13, 1974, following the removal of a cyst from his lungs. He was survived by his wife, Maria Mecada, three children, and an impressive film legacy. Mm -hmm.